The future of Crown Perth is under a cloud tonight as the fallout begins from a damning report into the casino giant's links to organised crime. Three directors have now gone. And Renee Henry, the state solicitor, has been called in to investigate. Michael, up to six years of red flags here at Crown Perth have been uncovered, raising the question, how did they go unnoticed for so long? And if the report found that Crown's new Sydney casino should not obtain a licence, how can the same company continue to operate a casino here? The state government now seeking urgent legal advice. The day after the Bergen inquiry dropped a bomb on Crowns Perth and Melbourne casinos, the Premier denied WA's gaming regulator has been asleep at the wheel. But there's been a full inquiry going on in New South Wales. Obviously they've been monitoring that. The state solicitor called in to investigate and the McGowan government demanding the Gaming Commission meet urgently instead of in two weeks. I just want to make it clear. We don't tolerate and won't tolerate. Criminality. Zero tolerance, but... I just make one point. There are five and a half thousand people who work at the casino. We obviously have to take into account their interests. Two Packer appointed directors today resigning from the Crown Board. The mogul also ending the consultancy of Perth's John Poynton, who will now request to become an independent director. The inquiry identifying a Crown Perth shelf company called Riverbank Investments, which had a bank account set up for patrons to deposit money into. In 2014, the ANZ Bank identified suspicious transactions and warned Crown Perth. On one day, multiple deposits of cash, ranging from eight to $9,000 by the same person. The report concluding it was likely money laundering, ANZ closing the account, but a similar approach prevailing with the Commonwealth Bank until as recently as 2019. The Gaming and Waging, Wagering Commission will then report to government on what should happen. If we get a report of money laundering the casino, we will investigate and prosecute anyone that is complicit in that activity. Calls now for any clampdowns to also include banning political donations. Crown handing over almost a million dollars to WA Labor and Liberals since 2007. I'm unaware of any donations. Obviously, uh, in light of what's occurred, uh, they shouldn't be happening. Renee Henry, Nine News.